in this episode. Can you hear the wind out there? It seems to be the norm for Escalante, Utah to be very windy the majority of days. <laughs> At least that's been my experience when I've been here. If you missed my video last Sunday, I have been hunkered down outside of Escalante, Utah for over a week now doing upgrades on the trailer. My friend Dan met me here at this amazing free campsite, a BLM, which stands for Bureau of Land Management campsite. And he has done so much work on the trailer. I say he because I've only lent a hand here and there. I give him all the credit. It's been amazing. So we have been here doing that and also adventuring in between. It's been awesome having the larger tank capacity on this trailer because I still have a lot of room in all my tanks <laughs> and still fresh water. So that could be out here for easily another week. I'm just sipping on some hot tea on a cold blustery afternoon. And the reason I'm checking with you in the afternoon as opposed to the morning like I typically do is because I will be getting ready to go on a hike in the morning that I have never done before, which I'm very excited about and I'm excited to take you along. Tonight for dinner, I'm just having a simple quesadilla. I have leftover taco meat from from the tacos that I made last night. And uh, I'm gonna get my backpack all set up and ready to go and get ready to take off on this hike in the morning. You can see the dirt flying out there. Woo. With one tiny little market in Escalante, you definitely have to make your food stretch. And that means leftovers, but it looks yummy. Turkey taco meat and cheese, and I'll top it off with salsa. Holy moly, I am stuffed. <laughs> I ate that whole quesadilla. I'm definitely going to need to do a hike tomorrow. I will see you all in the morning. Good night. Hole in the Rock Road is an unpaved road that starts 4.5 miles east of Escalante and reaches the edge of Glen Canyon after 55.5 miles. There's lots of adventure to be had along this rough road. Getting there is the hard part. Good morning. I can think of worse places to spend a lovely morning. This is the gorgeous Dry Fork Canyon behind me and the trail that I was alluding to that I'd be hiking today is the Dry Fork Canyon, Peekaboo Loop, 
spooky canyon loop. I think I got that right. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how much of it we're going to do, but we're just going to hike on and see if we want to do the whole entire thing or just a portion of it, but it's going to be beautiful no matter what we decide. We picked it absolutely awesome day to be here. There's a little bit of a chill in the morning here and uh, it's not supposed to get hot today. Uh, temps I don't think are going to get above 70. I think it's going to stay in the 60s. Um, no wind and just a gorgeous day. The crux of this hike was quickly approaching the entrance to Peekaboo Canyon. At first glance, it did not seem like a big deal. This is going to be interesting. Mm. Perfect. I'll spot you. Oh, this, is, this is a little more intimidating, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. I had a question about. <laughs> this is a room. Okay, you're doing it, Catherine. You got to have three good points at every. Yep, and you can't get three right here. <sighs> Good job. Okay. Wow. Move your, awesome. There you oh, go. There, there you go. go. Awesome. Hang on. <laughs> I freaking did it! Yay! <laughs> kind of push your body up against the rock, like I did. Got it. Woo hard. <laughs> this has definitely been an adventure today. <laughs> it's been awesome though.
Holy smokes, this has been fun. We just came out of the Slot Canyon. I uh, switched over to my phone. It was just too difficult to film with the Sony and the tripod in that canyon. What a day. Made it back to camp and wow, that was a fantastic hike. It was definitely challenging in some areas. The entry point into Peekaboo Canyon is about a, I'm gonna say 12 to 15 foot vertical wall. When, at first, like when I first glanced looking at it, I thought it wasn't gonna be a problem. However, once I started making my way up it, it got to the point where the footholds and the handholds were just when we we're in very awkward positions. I couldn't get three points of contact. So I kind of got stuck there for a while. However, I finally realized that if I just put pressure on my back and pushed my back against the wall behind me and just kind of maneuvered myself up that way that I could get up. We had a whole group of people come behind us. Um, and it, luckily there was a couple that was willing to help in conjunction with all of us giving moral support. Uh, one guy got down on the bottom, I believe his name was Steve, and kind of just helped push a bunch of ladies up that were in a group together. And then his uh, significant other cat actually was up at the top, you know, helping people up. And uh, it was cool. It was a great display of teamwork and just, looking out for each other's back. It was awesome. It was a great experience, actually. We started out at the Dry Fork Canyon and Dry Fork Narrows, which I guess the BLM told some other hikers there, that's an introductory to slot canyons. I think most anybody could do the Dry Fork Narrows portion of it, and then entered into the Peekaboo Canyon, which, like I said, had some challenges. And even once you got over that big wall, there was some scrambling to do inside the canyon, but it was just beautiful. We had such a beautiful day, beautiful weather. I'm looking out at the clouds right now in front of me. The blue sky with white puffy clouds, the temps were mild, there was a nice cool breeze, no wind, no strong significant wind, which has been the norm out here. So we picked a perfect day to do this. The plan for the evening is to have a campfire, which has not been able to happen since I've been here, which has been over a week now because of the wind. I think it's going to be calm enough to actually enjoy a campfire, probably my only one during the trip here, roast some hot dogs and just chill out this evening. Gunner. <laughs> you guys. You guys are just crazy. Gunner. Gunner. You just want Lie love, down. love, love. Lie down. What an amazing way to close out just an awesome day. It was a beautiful hike, beautiful scenery, perfect weather. This has been an amazing campsite and a great place to stay. Don't have too much longer here before it's time to move on. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video here. I wanna thank you all for joining me as always. Make sure that you stay tuned for the next adventure next Sunday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.
to subscribe, go to the channel's main page and tap that red subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel immensely.